today we're gonna be setting up an axolotl aquarium. I told you guys in my last video that if it got 20,000 likes, we would buy my mom an axolotl. My mom has been asking me if we can get an axolotl. I think 20,000 likes. Get some fear. Mom, guess what happened? 20,000 likes. I've actually wanted an axolotl for a really long time as well. I was kind of secretly happy when my mom also wanted one. Thank you guys. I appreciated all the comments. Buy your poor mom an axolotl. She deserves an axolotl. Now we're getting it. So you guys crushed it. This is great. We have everything we need here to set up a perfect axolotl tank. All right, mom, this is what you gotta know about axolotls. They're kind of a special animal to keep. Let's go over all the supplies that we're gonna be using to set up the tank. We got the tank itself. This is a 10 gallon aquarium. Now, normally for a fully grown axolotl, you're supposed to be keeping them in no less than a 20 gallon aquarium, but we're gonna be starting off with a little baby axolotl. As he grows, I actually wanna give him like a bigger and bigger aquarium so we can keep making videos and document his progress. That'll be fun, watching him grow. We got our sand. Okay, so this is like a fine white sand. You need to use fine sand because axolotls can swallow larger substrates like gravel. <laughs> Melly wants to watch. If you're watching the channel for the first time, this is my dog, Melly. Why is she wearing this ugly sweater? <laughs> because we went for a walk. She looks ridiculous. She looks like a grandma. We got some rocks. We got a piece of driftwood. We got this little PVC pipe. So it's a little cave for him so he can hide in it. He'll have somewhere to feel safe. And then we have our filter. Axolotls don't like a lot of flow, so that's a super powerful yet small filter. So there's not too much water movement. The axolotl can chill. We got our water right here, so let's start setting it up. All right, so first things first, let's put the sand in. Spread out the sand well. No, it's okay, just straight. All right, easy enough. All right, so now we wanna create a nice little scape with these rocks. We can put this cave, let's put this piece of driftwood in. This is our scape. I think it looks pretty good. You got this piece of driftwood, these rocks kind of disguising the PVC. We'll put some plants over here later, balance it out. All right, now it's time to fill with some water. Fill it up nice and slow. It's filled with water. All right, now it's time to add our filter. Okay. Plug it in? Yep. And you can see the water is moving. We don't have a light on the aquarium because axolotls actually don't like a lot of light. And this room gets just a little bit of like natural sunlight. So I think that'll be enough. All right, we're gonna leave this tank set up for a few days and then we'll be good to go get our axolotl. Can't wait. It's been a few days, the tank's looking good. Are you ready to go get your axolotl, mom? Yes, I am. I've been waiting for it. Melly. Come on. All right. Yeah, you got 20,000 likes, so. So where are we going, Drew? We are on our way to the axolotl breeder. Number one, he was an Aquashella vendor. Oh, nice. Number two, he's the youngest vendor in Aquashella history. His booth was right next to mine. His name's Chris. He told me that he had a baby axolotl that he wanted to give us. That's so sweet. So he's about the same age you were when you got started? I think so. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello. What's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? Look at the doggies. Chris and Chris's dad, the cool fish guys. So we breed fish and we sell fish. And how old are you? I'm 12. Wow. That's when George started videotaping. So how many tanks do you have? So right now we have 18 fish tanks. When are you gonna put a pond in this house? I'm still in the process of trying to convince my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could give you some tips on that. Yeah, to do all the water changes, it takes me about 12 hours. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna do a quick tour and then we'll see what kind of axolotls he has. This is insane. Look, tank number two, three, I'm seeing tanks everywhere. So these are your African cichlids. I used to have five, now I have around 30 in this stuff. They bred like crazy. <laughs> Chris, how did you decide to start breeding all of these fish? I saw a lot of injured fish, and then I rescued a couple, then I started to breed them, and I decided I wanted to start breeding them and selling them. So much fun. Do you also have some reptiles? Yeah. The dogs are just taking over. Okay, here we go. These dogs just follow you. You're like their little leader. Uh, so this is... Our turtle, his name is Bubba. Yeah. And then we also have a mosaic axolotl, Whoa. which are very rare. They occur in around one out of a million. Wow. So when you find them, they're usually hefty, right? So we're going up more stairs. Yeah. You have that many fish tanks? Oh, uh, yes. Oh my so God. And we have more in the basement too. Oh my God. 
Mom, this is this is like every kid's dream right yeah, here. It sure is. Track on how many tanks were on eight, nine, ten. So, okay, how did you convince your parents to let you have this many fish tanks? I think that's what a lot of kids are going to be wondering. He's showing my responsibility levels. Dad, what's your pitch to other parents who are watching this and they're like, my kid's going to want all these aquariums? So, a couple of things I think really help from a time management perspective. You know, he's a very good student. It's really been a kind of a, right, a step by step process. The more he's been responsible, the more responsibilities he's he's assuming. Very impressive. That's very that's pretty impressive. Youngest ever vendor at Aquashala. And we I didn't even know until you were in the booth right next to me. Parents, take note. It's just good stuff right here. Now Chris is actually going to get one of the babies for us. He's decided to gift it to us. Let's go get it. So he's a neon axolotl or GFP axolotl, and scientists injected jellyfish DNA into them to make them this color. And when you put them under an ultraviolet light, they will actually turn a bright neon color. But it doesn't hurt them. No. He is so cool. What do you think, Mom? He's perfect. He's absolutely perfect. In a couple of months, he should be about, I'd say, four or five more inches. All right. Chris, thank you so much. I'm so excited. We're going to take very, very good care of him. And you even have a registered LLC, right? Yes. Dude, right. a registered, legitimate business owner. Yes. That's. That's, that's what's up, that's very impressive. Cool fish guys. You've been such an influence for Chris in so many ways. And he's kind of modeled so much what I think of his thinking because of you and the path. And you know, just that motivation is what, what he's so grateful and what we're so grateful because of how much you mean uh, to him. Well, that's so generous of you and so thoughtful. And so that makes this axolotl really special. All right, if people want to buy axolotls or fish that you're breeding though, where do they find you? Axolfishguys.com. Of course, got a website. Coolfishguys.com. Right, so we're gonna stop at the fish store really quick to pick up some food for the axolotl. We're gonna get him some blood worms. All right, so these are frozen blood worms. Grab one, two of them. Baby axolotls especially love blood worms. So we got a couple of these. We got our axolotl back at home. It's time for acclimation. 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 We put our plant that we got at the fish store in there. So while we're acclimating him, he can feel a little bit more comfortable. He's hiding under the plant. All right, so he's finished acclimating. We're gonna add our plants real quick. So here's the dilemma. Axolotls don't really like a lot of light. So I wasn't planning on putting an aquarium light on this tank, natural sunlight, that would probably be enough for the axolotl. We might have to add a light for the plant. We'll see. Anubius also is like a really easy to care for aquarium plant, so. It should be fine. Are you ready to put our axolotl on the tank? Yes, I am. So axolotls are fully aquatic salamanders. So you're, they're not supposed to really come out of water, nor do they like to come out of water. So we're going to try to keep them as wet as possible. Here you go. He's already exploring his home. Just gone into his cave. He's peeking out of the cave over here. He looks pretty happy. Hey! So we absolutely love him. He is so cool, but we got to pick out a name for him. Should we let the viewers pick out a name or are you already thinking of a name that you have in your head? I think I just thought of a name right now. Wow. Well, because he has hairy ears, let's name him Harry. Harry? Like Harry Potter? No, not like Harry Potter. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? They're so cute. Do you see that? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Keeps flexing. Drop a comment, guys, if you like the name Harry. I like Harry, it's a good name. I think that's his name. All right, so we're gonna feed our axolotl now. We got our frozen bloodworms. Take one of these cubes. Nice. We're gonna let that thaw out. All right, here we go. First time feeding him. Oh, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. <laughs> Oh, he's hungry. Oh my goodness. He reminds me of the seahorses, George. Oh. Wow. All right, let's give him a good chunk. Here we go, feeding him. Oh my oh, god. Oh. Oh my goodness. Why? <laughs> he attacks it. Yes, he literally inhales it. Does he realize the food is like on his forehead? Oh, he just got. <laughs> 
It's really cool to feed them. They are very cute. And so for that reason, they are a very trending aquatic animal. Something else to note, they're super chill. They don't move a whole lot. They don't do a whole lot. So many people have been getting them lately, but I've also seen recently that there is a tendency with axolotls that people have been getting them. And then after a year or two, just not knowing what to do with them, trying to rehome them. And so there's a lot of excess axolotls actually, I believe in the hobby right now. These guys can live for like up to 15 years. So make sure that if you do want one, and this maybe inspired you to get one, just make sure that you're gonna be able to meet its care needs and provide a good home for it for a long time. I'll leave a link down below to a care guide and more details on them. I'm also gonna leave links down below to all the products I used in this video. I wanna show you my new pet. <laughs> look at the look on dad's face. His name's Harry. What is it? It's an axolotl. What's an axolotl? It's a this. fish? No, it's a salamander. What's a salamander? It's like, it's kind of like an underwater lizard. So what's special about it? Look, we're gonna feed him, you ready? And so you're gonna feed him like this? Why, is he blind? Watch. That reminds me of those horses. Uh, <laughs> the sea horse. <laughs> the sea whale. If he does it by himself, then you have to feed him like this. That's how they you're gonna cry. feed him? Yes. Admit it, he's cute. I don't find him cute. In the last year or two, these animals became super popular. People love them. So you're happy? Yeah. Well, you're happy then. Who's gonna feed the... I will. Harry. I will. You will? Yeah. And where is he gonna be staying here? Put him in our bedroom. He must be cute. <laughs> no. He's so cute. No, no, no. They only come from one place in the world and it's one specific lake in Mexico. And they're actually like going extinct in the wild, but people figured out how to breed them. They've taken the world by storm. They're like the most popular aquatic animal in the aquarium hobby right now. 100% of the axolotls in the aquarium hobby are captive bred. We gotta keep the room cold because they like water like 60 degrees. I don't find anything special about this guy. So yours and enjoy. Uh... Have fun. I like him. He also, he was bred with a special jellyfish DNA. So I actually got one of the black lights from Aquashella and uh, we're gonna be putting it to the test. Ready, set, go. Whoa! Dude, that is wild. Glows in the dark. How cool is that, Dad? Come on, you can't tell me that's not cool. He's adorable. No attachment with this guy. It's just, it's not a fish. It's not a... Don't, don't you think, don't you think it's cool? No. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Harry, Harry feels bad that you don't like him. He went in this cage. But I, I'm, I'm sincere with my description. So Harry's gone into his cave, it looks like for the night. We're gonna leave him alone so he can start to get comfortable in his new home. Make sure to subscribe to watch him grow up. We'll see you guys in the next one. George.